AVBN, the rich video blog network, home to top 10 list of everything and anything, um, personality profiles, weekly NFL predictions, and a lot of sports video blogs among others. A whole archive of my videos are on Facebook and YouTube. You have been watching the VBN video, video Blog Network, Belica, Massachusetts. Good morning, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. This is Rich again, back for your first video blog of the day for Friday, October 14th. 2016, around 6.49 in the morning in Bellica, Massachusetts. It's going to be a sunny day out today, but only about 57, 58 degrees. Tonight is going to be a killing frost north of Boston and the western suburbs. So that means the growing season over. But the beginning of next week, a big warm-ups in store could reach 80 on Tuesday and Wednesday, but most likely that will probably be the last 80 degree day of the year. Good Indian summer weather. Get out and enjoy it because sooner or later the cold and the snow will be setting in. Some news to report on the RVBN News. Why do 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 The Boston Bruins beat the Columbus Blue Jackets by the score of 6-3. to three. The Bruins are 1-0 in the young season. The Boston Celtics beat the Brooklyn Nets in preseason action by the score of 100-97. The LA Dodgers beat the Washington Nationals by the score of 4-3 to three to win the National League Division Series. Three games to two. Another disappointing end to the national season and it's happy world standards day and happy national egg day and that's about it on news from the rvbn news why do 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 be back in a flash get out you're so sweet the more the merrier go find something to do that's a possibility this action will not be tolerated at B-M-H-S. She got no chance in hell. You egg-sucking dog. You dusty roads. Business is about to pick up. Oh my. Great um, quotes only on RVBN. I'm back. My second video blog subject of the day is about my personality profile. Today's personality profile is about one of the best quarterbacks in NFL history, Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning played 17 seasons in the NFL, and he holds many quarterback records. Peyton was born, and he grew up in New Orleans, Louisiana. He comes from a football family background. His father, Archie Manning, was an NFL quarterback, mainly for the New Orleans Saints. And his brother, Eli, is currently the quarterback of the New York Giants. He also has another um, brother named Copper, which he played quarterback briefly in high school, but an injury forced him to end his football career in high school. And he wore number 18 in his honor because that was Copper's number. And Peyton Manning played high school f football and he was so great that he won Gatorade Circle of Champions during his senior year. And he was National High School Player of the Year in 1993, he was recruited by over 60 colleges to play football, including his father's alma mater, Old Miss, and plus all the big schools. But Peyton decided to play for Tennessee. And when he was a freshman, um, Peyton was 
third string quarterback ahead of him was um, former Rockies first baseman um, Todd Helton and Peyton did not start um, until maybe his, the fourth, fifth game of his freshman year because uh, regular, the starting quarterback was injured and Todd Helton, who was supposed to play, couldn't play because he was injured as well. And once Peyton Manning started playing, there was no stopping him. His career college st- stats were 863 uh, Pass completions out of 1,381 attempts, 11,201 passing yards, and 86, uh, eight, um, 89 touchdowns. And Peyton was one of the best quarterbacks in SEC history. And he was going into the 1999, 1998 NFL draft as one of the top um players to be drafted. The Indianapolis Colts drafted Peyton number one overall in 1998 and he turned around a franchise, the Colts, which was kind of struggling in the 1990s. He made them very, very competitive. They would always win their division each and every year and he would go on to deep runs and playoffs. And he spent his First, um, 13 year, years in the NFL with the Colts, but he suffered a neck injury in 2011 that forced him to miss all the season, and that was the year the, the Colts tanked in the standings, and there was another franchise quarterback coming up who was going to be the number one pick, Andrew Luck, and the Colts did not want like to draft Andrew Luck and he sit on, on the bench for a few years. So the Colts um, released Peyton out of his contract and he spent the final four years of his NFL career with the Denver Broncos. Even though he wasn't the Peyton Manning of all towards the end of his career, he still was productive. And he made 14 Pro Bowls. He won the NFL MVP five times. Seven times he was a first all-team All-Pro. Three times he was a second team um, All-Pro. Um, multiple times he led the NFL and offense was the offensive player of the year. A couple of times. Four, four years He led the NFL in touchdown passes. Three years he led the NFL in passing completely. Um, 16 times he had 20 or more touchdown passes in a season. All 17 years in the NFL he had 2,000 yard seasons. He holds many NFL records plus also team records from the Colts and the Broncos. And he was a two-time Super Bowl winner. He won Super Bowl 41 with the um, Bronc- with the Colts. And he won Super Bowl 50 with the Broncos. And he was Super Bowl 50 MVP. And both of his Super Bowl wins were, ca- were called by Jim Nance of CBS Sports. That's an interesting fact. Peyton retired after Super Bowl 50 and he has awesome career stats. 6,125 um, complete pass completions after 9,380 attempts. 65 six, a 65.3 succession rate, 71,940 passing yards, 539 touchdown. I mean, touchdown passes and 251 interceptions. 
Peyton has been doing a lot of commercials for DirecTV since his retirement. There's been a lot of rumors going around that Peyton Manning was going to go into broadcasting, but those rumors were untrue at at this point. But he he could be a great like analyst one of these days if he wants to. And Peyton Manning, number 18, is probably going to be retired by the Colts and probably by the Broncos. And he's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer when his time comes up in 2021. And the Hall of Fame committee is probably not going to have any discussion about his candidacy. Probably be only a couple of seconds and they'll vote him in unanimously. And that's about it on Peyton Manning. I'll be back later. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus with two more video blogs. One will be about the wrestling podcast tag teams back again with Kelly and Marty Sleeves. And third and final video blog of the night will be about the top 100 greatest blondes of all time. This one will be from number 40 through number 31. And already kind of a spoiler alert, Julie Broughton, Elizabeth Hart, and Molly Rosenblatt are part, are part of the top 40 blondes of all time. So that's just a spoiler alert. But neither of these three ladies will be between number um, 40 and 31 tonight. So they're in the top 30. Keep calm, everybody. And I'm a Julie Button guy. Molly Roseblood of WCCO rocks in his nice legs. Elizabeth Hatso so, so stunning, she's the best. Amy Sweezy's awesome, awesome Amy. Linda Church of WPIX Channel 11 New York, such a rocking cougar, and she's got nice legs. Best in New York City. And Bobby Gibbs of ABC 11 has a sweet southern accent. And in the words of Deep Patel last week, no bus by now.